Today, codes are more complex. If you've got a coded passage, a sentence or two, and you're trying to, to decode it, you could look for the short words like the or a or an. And once you can recognize those, it would help you to decode the message. That's why modern codes come with the letters sorted out into groups. And this is a very simple message. Can anybody understand it? No. Well, whoever received the message would have a decoding book. And the first instruction would be, remove all first letters because they don't mean anything at all. So they take these out. And then slide the rest up together. Now, do you understand it? No? The second instruction would say, raise every second letter. So you start with the first, then the third, and the fifth, and so on. Alternate letters being raised and left in place. And there's the message. Can you read it now? Do watch, think of a number. Very simple. And you see how just a simple message like that can be complicated. Now, imagine what would have happened if we'd slid the alphabet along. So for every A, we used a B. Or for every B, we used a C. How complicated just that simple message would have been. Today, modern codes are almost unbreakable. There was one code used in the Second World War that was unbreakable. It was set up and used by the Germans. And the reason it was so difficult was the fact that the whole code was set up by a machine. A machine called Enigma. Looks like a typewriter. Typewriter keyboard. And then the keyboard is repeated here with these letters. But those letters light up. If you want to type in a message, we will meet at midnight, you type a W and a B lights up. E and a H lights up. W again for Will. And a V lights up. For the last time, a B lit up. So even the same letter, when you use it again, will have a different letter representing it. So you see how complex the code will be. So complicated, nobody could conquer it. It all works with these rollers up here, three wheels. And each time you press a key, they move. And so set up another set of letters. Now, there are 26 letters on each. That's 26 times 26 times 26. But that isn't the end of the complication. There are plugs here at the front, so you can plug in more loops to make the coding much more complex. You can use altogether eight of these drums. The possible ways, number of ways, of coding a message amount to 200 million million. So how could you possibly crack the code? Well, we did it. Simply. We nicked it. We, we didn't steal the machine, but the workings. We brought back or well, people brought back the way the thing worked, and we put it together and got the whole information and found we could crack the Germans' code without them knowing it. It saved thousands of lives and brought the whole Second World War to an earlier close.